First of all, I need to apologize that it took so long to make the second video in this uh, Cloud Managed by Aruba Central series. The last time we, uh, we made the video was we made sure that we could have a registration. So what means we were assigning a user ID to the, to the uh, Aruba Central portal where we could log in. That's what we did to register. Now we're going to have a little bit of a look before we dive into some of the configuration factors, connecting devices to the cloud, etc., about the interface. So what do we see when we log on? So this is the first screen we see. It's the monitoring overview when we log on. And I want to make a couple of remarks here because the first thing you should be notified is that you're looking at all groups. So if you select this, that means that if, if, you, if you have multiple groups, the old group is your default view. And you can add groups by doing a plus sign here, uh, by creating more groups, for example, buildings, etc. Um, you can also create labels. If you want to work with labels, for example, I have building one and building two, and they both have also lobby, then I create a la label building one and maybe a label building two and also la label lobby so that you can assign these labels to devices so that later on you can make your search much much easier you can see for all uh, lobby devices uh, or you can search for building one lobby devices etc and the unprovisioned one is where you see unprovisioned controllers unprovisioned switches etc so let me close this one off then the next time the next thing I want to highlight is this uh, this top. You can see uh, how amount of how, the amount of access points that are up, the amount of access points that are down, amount of switches up, down, and clients on wireless and client on uh, clients on wired. Uh, in in this now we don't see anything because we want to build it up uh, and we're going to connect devices in another video series. Then you can see on the top right you can see like a, like only like a person icon if you click that. You can see the user, uh, you can switch a customer, you can change the password, you can go to user settings. And then another important I want to make here is the MS, uh, the MSM, the managed service mode. So I am now in the, in the standard enterprise mode. So having one customer to manage and that's my, my own customer. But in the managed service mode, you can, for example, run that as a partner. Uh, and you can manage multiple customers under a central instance. So then still, they have their own instance, but still as a partner, you can manage these different instances. And of course, the terms of service and logout. The other thing, of course, if we need help, you can press this, um, um, this question mark here, and you can see for help, point any text in green uh, italic. So it's an important thing because this is, uh, this is different, but it is very handy. You can see that there is now green here. You can immediately see, okay, the client graph shows the number of clients connected to an exploit of a specific uh, time period. That counts the same for bandwidth. It shows the bandwidth from both the incoming and the outgoing data traffic. And if you are done, uh, you can leave this on. So if you then go to another one, you can see that you can uh, go again to this device. So if you do done, it will uh, switch back to default. If you want to have a uh, view at the documentation, you can select the documentation here. You can uh, view or update your case, or you can immediately open a new case out of your cloud platform. And if you also want to use the uh, Aruba Central app, it's available in both the App Store and in both the Google Play Store. So now I have a, I have a little bit of a look here. You can see that in the monitoring view, by default, it is selecting the last three hours. If I select that, you can see, okay, I can go to one day, one week, one month, or three months of data retention here. You see one day, three hours. So this is the way where you can get an overview of your, uh, or change the, the time range for your graphs. Bandwidth users, clients, uh, total AP users, uh, top five clients, and application users. You can scroll down for the WLAN. Um, in order to see application users, it is important that uh, you need to require deep packet inspection. So I'm um, not going to dive into that. If you then, if you have multiple groups, let's say I'm going to add a group here uh, called test. Next, I, I will set a password to this group. I'll save. 
now we have another group then we can also select another group here you can see I can select test and then I, the graphs will automatically change to all the devices in the group test if you want to remove a group let's switch back to default then I can uh, go here to settings I can select test and I can remove the group oh let me remove it okay let's close it off let's go back to the default view all groups and there we go again so overview we already discussed let's move to the access points uh, here you get a uh, bandwidth of all the access points clients in the particular group bandwidth users per network inbound outbound and uh, client count per network and if we have a deep packet inspection we immediately see the applications being used if it is social media etc etc but that will be something we will look at uh, in uh, in later in later uh, sessions top end and list you will see a list of all the uh, of all the access points clients you can get all the information on the clients uh, also the list uh, app rf is where we can get all the information on the app categories application web categories and web reputation we can look at the analyzed data we can filter immediately between the data and we can also see uh, on a specific group if there is any block traffic you can see there is no block sessions now switches and um, from switch information wireless security for security information intrusion detection if there is uh, RF interference etc notifications you can see all the notifications you can acknowledge them and here you can set up so that's an important thing you can do uh, type user management you can set the group you can add new uh, uh, an event if new users are added etc so here is where you can manage all your uh, your notifications this is we are now in the networking management view um, and I want to show you something else uh, there is also analytics uh, uh, for example and there's also guest possibilities in this Aruba Central if you have them enabled and you have a subscription you can you can select here you can see that I'm now in network management but you can all and also enable other application based on the amount of subscriptions you have by doing analytics presence analytics uh, or also see loyalty that's really handy for retail for example or uh, for example with uh, with guest access it can be very handy for uh, uh, for everybody that wants to do guest access if you go to global settings you can manage your device subscriptions here your subscription keys can be added you can see that mine are uh, uh, are expired here uh, and there is a uh, subscription assignments you can add here for access points but also for switches so this is where you can uh, do yes the assignment of subscriptions for the let's say physical devices the access point of the or the switches and you can add subscription keys here for your analytics if you want to add analytics or you want to add guest and you can do the device provisioning here but this is all we will we will look at that later here's where you can manage the labels if I want to add labels I can add them to a group and I can uh, can assign the label name here let me move back to my network management application there's also a configuration section um, where you can uh, uh, can do the configuration of the group so the group is in this one is default and the way they're using groups is uh, by using groups you can set a, a configuration on a group and every device a switch or an access point that is adapted to the group will use that particular configuration which makes it very simple uh, to configure the most common denominators if you want to uh, pinpoint to a particular device and you want to change this configuration that's possible to override but you can create networks here by assigning this plus sign if you want to see more information here and there is more columns available then you will see the columns here and you can select or deselect these columns when they are available of course access points we will dive into all these particular parameters but I just want to show you an overview of the um, of the application availabilities that we have here RF for all the radio information on this particular group if you want to do IDS and even IPS on this particular group uh, some security information that we have available here uh, VPN information DHCP uh, some services like uh, for example with uh, real-time location services or network integration uh, there is system 
that you can configure on the group. And you can configure those per group. Uh, switches for mass switches if you still want to support them, but most of you will probably move to Aruba switches. And if you move to the switches, you will move to the switch configuration. So you can add to it, of, uh, you will see if there are switches available. You can see that you can configure a port here, uh, PoE enabled, access policies if they are available. You can configure VLANs. Um, that's a default VLAN, but you can add VLANs, you can turn DSP on, you can immediately configure um, uh, policies in ACL, you can select the port mode, etc. If it is TAC or UNTAC, uh, security settings, this is where you can, for example, create access policies, uh, DHCP pools if you want to enable that on the switch, uh, system information, admin password, etc. and advanced settings, uh, like what kind of model it is if you want to uh, push uh, CLI snippets to the script, you can select the model, select the version, and you can uh, uh, add the CLI parts in there if you want to. So that's all the configuration. In the report section, you can create reports. Um, you can select the reports available here, but of course you need to configure them first. Uh, for example, a network report, you can create a report, you can give it a title, select a report type, uh, last day, last week, last month, or a custom range, schedule now or later. Uh, if you do later, you can s schedule it at a certain time you want available, uh, etc. And you can even send it to a certain email so that you also have the reporting available. And there's a maintenance section. And in the maintenance section, uh, if there is a new firmware for a virtual controller, for a MOS switch, for an Aruba switch, uh, for an access point, you can see the access point in here and you can select that and immediately update all these firmware. Um, there is this. Uh, uh, users that you can add to this uh, instance so that you can have multiple users that can access this instance. So there's an audit tool available, there's troubleshooting available uh, where you can select an AP, there's multiple tools, there's pin traceroute tools, but there is also commands available for wires, security, network, there's different commands available for example that you can use, you can type in the command for both access point and switches and use these uh, these commands to do further troubleshooting if needed. Uh, and you get the output also uh, below here. But as I said, that's not available. If you go, for example, to firmware and you see these wheels, then always you have this particular options you have available here where you can, uh, where you can do some additional settings. So that is important to know. So this is a little bit of a brief overview of the, um, uh, of the, of the of the CLI that you have available and I want a quick bypass in the next video we will have a look at the different uh, and we will definitely going to connect the switch and an AP and see how you need to make that connection first and then further down the line we start to configuring networks SSID security settings enable some of the different applications etc etc thank you for watching again if you like it please like the video subscribe to the channel Leave any comments if there's a question, we will try to support you wherever I can.